Hi everyone, I'm just uh, going to teach you how to combine beam, beam elements and plate elements in a structure to save on modelling time. So, um, I'm going to quickly do a sketch of my beams first. Um, for, our, for simplicity, we're going to um, draw a 600 by 600. Uh, plate supported by beams around the outside. Now the important part of this is to not actually draw all the beams connected otherwise it can default to um, making them as one beam and if you want them pin jointed uh, they need to be separate elements so it's possible when they're parallel to draw the parallel ones together in one sketch so that's what I've done there I need to now draw another sketch for the for the ones in the um, in the z-axis good to use the existing ones as a reference Alright, so that I'll, I've referenced them off the existing sketches, so I now have um, a single dimension that will control them. And then the other one I'll need to do is a sketch for my plate. Now the plate can be made as a surface, which is ex an extrude of a line. So we draw this line in the XY plane. Oops. Let me try to get it to snap on here. Try that again. Right, let's draw it in this plane. It's not cooperating. There we go. So I've done that so that they're referencing off that initial dimension. If I want to change that dimension, they can all be changed together. So line, when it's extruded, defaults as a surface. Okay, so then we've got sketches for my x, beam, x axis beams, my y axis or z axis beams and I've got a surface for my plate. Alright that's all I need to do in the modeler. We we'll go into the simulate and um, we start setting this up. So these are, are going to be beams. We go and refine and select them as a beam. Uh, let's just give them some cross section say that it's a square 75 by 75 uh, say it's by, th by 3 now that's going to mean it's a 69 internal dimension ok yeah, there we go displays it 
and then we're going to do a similar thing for s the ones in the other axis defaults the same section yep that's good now for the plate we're going to give it a shell a shell thickness say it's 6 mil um, these are all the defaulting as a part material so let's just uh, set the part material let's get steel and material assignment let's just make the entire part all steel okay now the um, constraints uh, we can put a displacement constraint on these beams so these are going to be a point a point displacement constraint and we'll let them rotate so we go around and do that at all four points point at the end of the beam That means those beams are going to rotate around those points and have a curvature rather than being fixed. And we can now apply a force to the surface. And instead of just Newtons, we can go into Advanced and change it to a distribution force per unit area in the Y. And what are we in here in? Let's make it in KPA and we'll make that minus 2.5. So, the sort of value people can walk on it. So, this could be some work platform or something like that. Alrighty. Do a quick static analysis of this structure. It has beams and plates combined. Give it a run, and surprise, it's already solved. So here we can have our values for the beams and for the membrane. We can get values for the top and bottom of the shell. Uh, we can turn these off as well, so let's just um, display the beams only. So that's showing our beams, the deflection. Change this and we s let's show our our plate, and we can see it's what it's doing there. Now we can go back and refine that mesh and get better results if we need to. And that's the way to quickly solve a combined structure.